for this mouth-watering opener between Josh Rock and Gary Anderson. Joining me, Chris Murphy, is a winner of Players' Championship 3. Good afternoon, Glenn Durrant. Thank you so much, and that's the motivation for these players today, because in four years' 99. time, they will be sat in this seat, commentating on PDC TV. <laughs> Very many happy memories of that day. I think I shared it on social media myself. And uh, really excited to be here, and uh, two of the best components, two of the best players right now in the world. I'm really looking forward to seeing your man in picture right now, Josh Rock. Yeah, not a bad match to get first up, is it? And the fact that Gary's practicing, I thought he was excellent at, you know, at, at the Masters. 131. Just come across a, an unbelievable Rob Cross, and you know when he's practicing, then the rest have, have to be frightened. Three or two. Josh Rock will start on the 18th there. It's advantage Anderson very early in this first leg. Was looking for treble 16 there uh, to leave himself double 12. 48, 48 remaining. He'll go for an 8 or a 16. 50. And for Rock at this point, all he can do is put some pressure on that tops. That's exactly what he's going to do. And what you're watching right now is the absolute elite yes. of darts. You're going to see some breathtaking darts today at times. What a mouth watering opener this is. Game shot. First leg to Gary Anderson completed in 13 darts as well it's a danger isn't it i mean you've been there when you've been a, a seeded player for these events and likes of gary anderson floating around as non-seeds yeah there's a couple of floaters that you try to avoid and what's even more dangerous about gary is the fact he just looks he looks in the zone again it didn't go so well last week you know it's quite a disappointing loss to brendan dolan and stephen bunting quite early in the competition but I think you'd be nice seeing sir. the positives. 103 average in one of his wins he had last week. But he just looks, he just looks good. That, that throw looks beautiful. And when he's banging that treble 20, he's an absolute danger. He's one of the greatest of all time. And uh, what an opportunity for Josh Rock to know exactly where his game is right now. You know, suddenly seems to Thank have the sir. bit between his teeth again, Gary Anderson. So much so that actually on Monday here, he's staying an extra day to play in believe it or not a european tour qualifier yeah but it's, uh, but it's only a one flight one i bet it's munich is it but uh, it's great to see him there and it's just great to, you know the fact that he's just got that enjoyment 119 back clearly he's pa practicing with ryan Serlum. you know what a dance partner that is i think they'll enjoy the pace of each other i think they like each other's company yes yeah, sir of course 59. who was one of the winners in the opening weekend of Players' Championship action here in Barnsley last week. The thing for Josh Rock this week, Chris, 60. is uh, the second year syndrome. That last year, everybody was, and he, he dealt with he, he dealt with everything. As Gary Anderson looks at tops here, game shot. And doesn't he look good right now? Flying Scotchman is absolutely playing fantastic here. And Josh Rock, when he saw the draw this morning, would be thinking, "That's not the floater I wanted." Right now, Gary Anderson just seems to be in a great zone, a great place, and that all goes well for 2023. Yeah, it's a good point that Glenn makes there about the potential of now living up to the the hype Gary in the six. second year. And interestingly, Josh Rock was defeated in Players' Championship 1 last Saturday by Dylan Slevin, who many feel could be the Josh Rock amazing. of this year. Yes, I've been very, very impressed with Dylan. I was actually watched that game last week and... I was watching, as many do, Dark Connect. 180. This is a game. I mean, what an opening game for, for me as a commentator. I went all prima donna this morning and went, I'm, I'm nabbing this game because 43. it's a game that I'll remember. And it's living up to them expectations. Yeah, 180's exchange. Three in the match now in three legs. Two of them to Gary 45. Anderson, who, although it's early in the game, is averaging well in excess of 100. And Rock might need this kind of finish just to get a leg on the board. There's the start. In absolutely incredible effort there from Rock. And that bullseye is very interesting because we may see that bullseye come into the equation here. I think Gary will play safe. No histrionics and bull. 65. And the difference between these elite players right now is just absolute millimetres. And these are the types of finishing 
that Josh Rock was putting away comfortably and that's sacrilegious to miss the big number meaning he's only going to get the one dart that double four shot. but that's all he needs he'd be relieved with that dart he'd be frustrated with that big nine effort and we felt that this match had all the ingredients to be a cracker and it's absolutely delivering right now yeah Rocky off the mark in the match 100 we are going to see some quite tasty ties, none more so than this in the first round here on Stream 1. Following it, Cam Crabtree, of course, a winner on the Challenge Tour, filling up as a reserve player in this weekend's field. And he's going to take on the former World Master, John O'Shea. Speaking of former World Masters, Christopher Teichke in action against the former World Champion, Richie Burnett. And then Robbie Knopps against Alan Souter, who once again impressed 55. at the World Championship. Just looking at a couple of the results elsewhere very early in the game but joe cullen's lightning quick start not he need that because this time last year he won not only players championships three but he won players championships four as well so he'll be defending money this week 45. so he'll be looking for a good run and already he's sped into a three nil lead against sean wilson averaging over 112 but right now he's had a dart at bull for a 170 135 this time very sensibly very mature head, Chris, is uh, Josh Rock. Got to know him last year as my pool pairs well, partner. Double 16. Game he shot. chose to leave it. He backed himself to hit it, and he did hit it. Only one dart required, and this is a fantastic start to today's action. You would feel that both players playing the way that they are will think, if I carry on like this all day, I I'm going to have a good run. But, of course, one of them is going to fall at the first hurdle. Bit, there'll be nerves there i don't you know gary anderson will be nervous Wonderful. with the first round but the beauty of these players championships once you get through that first round and get to your board finally even the relaxation in your body is absolutely 55. night and day from the first game so it's just about getting through that first round game and like i said when these two drew each other focus will have been really key and uh, 58. both players will be delighted the way they've started Coming down to ensure he leaves some kind of finish. 98. In that scenario, didn't have to really. Gary Anderson with Josh Rock on 3-4-3. Three, three, not going to leave a finish himself. And in the end, he didn't 96. leave a finish because he threw away with Dart. Some absolutely barnstorming games. That one that stood out for me was Damon Hetter, Ross Smith. And after three 58. legs, Damon Hetter is averaging over 118. Yeah, Luke Humphreys once again in three figures. 4-0 up already against Rusty Jake Rodriguez. I think we're seeing a reaction to that Nothing omission right. from the Premier League from Luke Humphreys. Yeah, I did chat with him afterwards as Anderson looks at 110. We're looking at treble 18. 86. So lovely set up for 24. 24 just reminds me of the year he won the Worlds. Insane he was on that double. Once again, Rock will just be looking for the single treble. 100. So it does put some pressure on 24, but the way Gary's feeling right now, you've got to fancy him for this. Game shot. And fancy it, you do. This is a wonderful exhibition of darts from both players. Both players very much at the top of their game right now, feeling good, and that just makes you feel 59. fantastic for the rest of the year. Yeah, nothing between them. Anderson on a 98 average before this leg. Josh Rock just over 99. 140 obsessed with sort of body language and just the relaxation and that is a different Gary Anderson Chris if you're asking me it's just I think he's loving darts again and uh, he's made that conscious effort to get the practice in and you know you, you reap what you sow if you put the hard graft in in your practice in your revision come exam day you're just going to feel really good and right now Gary Anderson's on it A plus and it was probably going to go one of two ways for Gary Anderson this year. Maybe he had a decision to make whether he was going to go full focus, start trying to enjoy it, start trying to be as competitive as possible again, because he is almost inexplicably ranked 24th in the world. 28. I mean, who would have thought we'd ever say that about Gary Anderson? Yeah, maybe one of the reasons, you know, for the Euro Tour, etc. But I think he said it many times. The fact he stayed in the top eight, considering he didn't do the Euro Tour, wasn't just sort of tells you a little bit i mean he is one of the all-time greats and to see him play like this now it's just 98. really exciting for for him and us as the public watching him 
Well, there's something new here. Josh Rock looking to show what he can do. Oh, clip the wire. Great attempt, but he has left it awkward. Anderson might just start to uh, show his experience here and try and pile on the pressure. 18's a bit of a stinker. 92. That treble 19 will make... Uh, he'll go direct for this double nine now. Game shot. And you say it's a stinker. For, but there's just no fear uh, for these young players now. It's just... Just a different breed, breed coming through, and that's a lot to do with the academies, a lot to do with the JDC, a lot to do with the development tour. So Nine when they do reach the the real elite of the game, there's just he's playing without fear. He's enjoying every bit about what happened to him last year. He's been accountable. 137. Not all eyes were on him. It didn't affect him, and I did have concerns about 2023 for him, uh, but right now he looks as good as ever. 100. He's like a, a Rolls Royce of a player. Yeah, I mean, he's only, we're talking about world rankings, he's only actually 13 places behind Gary Anderson in the world right now. 140. And that's with one year on tour. People ask, did you used to look at the rankings? Absolutely, especially when I was his age. And 87. Just ticking boxes to get to the top 32 of the game, the top 16 of the game. But this guy is going all the way. We don't have the top three in the game in action this weekend, Michael Smith, Peter Wright and Michael Van Gerwen all opting out of a trip to Barnsley, having played in the Premier League in Glasgow on Thursday. Now this could be a moment for Josh Rock to make his move. Yeah, these are the types of finishers that our players love. It's only the one treble to leave the bulls out. That's a lovely final. That the final dart from both of these players today has been absolutely exceptional. So 118 will be treble 20 to leave the fat 18. Tops. 98. Oh, when, I think when he let go of that, he might have thought that was going all the way. And Josh Rock for his favourite 32. Game shot. What a game this is. Is it always this easy to commentate uh -huh. then, Chris? Yeah, you, you'll be tested at some point. But so far, I'm sure all the viewers will agree that Glenn Durant himself is passing the test. Making it easy for me, that's 96. for sure. It's just so easy when, you, when you're watching darts like this. You know, two guys... I got to know very well, like I said, with Josh Rocker. We just began to sort of socialise a little bit last year and just I knew where I was going with my crease. I was just trying to get into the head of him and you know, people like John O'Shea and Rab Bain and you know, Scott Williams, them guys around him, Rob Cross. They, they, that's great because you need that team around you. And uh, he's got good family base and 140. what a future. If he just manages it and stays mature and, and he's demonstrating the maturity. Uh, what an exciting prospect for the you know the world youth champion of 2022. One hundred and thirty-six. Didn't know if he'd there. I thought he was going to stay on the 19s, but very sensible setup from Anderson. What a dart! One hundred thirty-six. This is beautiful to watch. I hope you're enjoying this at home as much as I am. Well, having just been broken, Anderson wants the ball to break back. 102. So 1-3-1. One, one. Looks like he's looking down, which a lot of the players are doing, because that would have left tops, tops, which many of the players are doing. And that will leave a double 95. 18 for him. And these are the types of finishes, these 25s. We saw it in the first leg with Josh Rock. Big, big dart. Game shot. Oh, and it just deflected off that second dart. I can assure you, he was aiming just below that. But what a beautiful and I think this I think this match deserves to go the distance and it seems to have gone by in absolutely no time. Yeah, I know we say it often nice, in commentary, but never mind going the distance. I'd like them to to add another few legs on as well. Luke Humphrey's already through and Jose de Souza. Great to see Jose. I know he's got his his own battles right now, but he's what a talent. Uh Jose Souza. People talk about players as Josh Rock gets my excitement levels up a little bit. 137. I just thought he could have switched after the first start. It was right on the bottom wire. Right now they are seeing that treble 20 like a bucket. 180. It's, an, it's a beautiful feeling. Well, we're up to six maximums in the match now. Four of them for Gary Anderson. 120. So you look at the 16s route here. 136. That's a beautiful setup that is. 144. There's the two trebles. So it's advantage rock for another break. Back after nine darts. 56. 48. 
So a big target to 16 or 8. He'll play it nice and safely in right in the middle. Another big dart in this match for a 12 darter, a break, a throw, huge moment. Game shot. Well, he slung it in from Sheffield. That Josh Rock had to step right across the hockey. Great dart to break the throw, and now he will throw to eliminate Anderson in round one. And the reaction there, just you don't need to commentate or any words there. No disrespect to anyone, but he knew how big that dart was for many reasons. But 59. when you then stand up with your five four yard dart, you're just thinking, just give me a treble, 15 dart, and make Gary Anderson throw in 12. 100. And that 59 can hurt a little bit. Now it's a two treble visit required. Yeah, and this is uh, Josh Rock leading this match against Gary Anderson, who's 59. averaging himself. 98, he's hit four 180s. Yeah, 100. might be facing a first round defeat. Sorry, Murph, I'm getting too excited here. <laughs> I'm absolutely in heaven right now. This is fantastic. To be just so up close and personal, seeing players playing like this. Yeah, and not to have to throw after. They, they are playing like that. That's five now for the two-time world champion. One hundred and thirty-four. So they've got eleven ball. For bullseye, what a dart again! Six. It just drifts it once again in this twenty-five. The one or nine is the type of finish we like. Once again, so this time it's one treble. We treble nineteen. He'll be disappointed with that. Ninety-three. Well, Josh Rock got his breaker throw in the previous leg, but Anderson will have the chance to force a decider in which he. Would have the darts, oh, but that is probably the worst dart he's thrown in the match. And you, Josh Rock just behind. All you're wanting to do is hear that dulcet tone of a, of a number rather than game shot. And if you'd have took double eight at the beginning of this game, you'd have snapped your hands off for the match. Wow. Oh, eight. did not expect that. Some people might say maybe pressure, but them darts were thrown very, very well. They're just the difference at the elite is just sometimes the width of a wire. Drama at the death. Anderson missing opportunities to stay in it. Rock missing opportunities Two. to win it. But he has three more clear. At double four. Is that Gary Anderson's opportunity gone? It is. On the match. Rock rules. The two-time world champion Gary Anderson falls at the first hurdle after a very, very good game of darts. Josh Rock carrying on where he left off last year. A 6-4 success over the Flying Scotsman. Both players were flying in that one. Rock, though, wins it 6-4. There you see the stats. 5-180s from Gary Anderson, but the doubling percentage is what let him down. Josh Rock, 50% in that department in a game that just kept swinging one way, then the other, until Rock got the job done. He goes through to round two, where he'll take on the winner of our next match here on stream one. It's Cam Crabtree against John O'Shea coming next.